This story is called Pelican's Catch. As dawn lights up the small island of red mangrove trees off the soft, southwest corner of Puerto Rico, a young brown pelican stretches her huge wings. All around her, pelicans are waking up. Brown pelican is 11 weeks old. She hatched from an egg her mother had laid in her nest high in a mangrove tree in this bay. Her parents recently helped her learn to fly. Now she must learn to fish for herself. She soon gets her first chance. As a flock of pelicans fly over the shallow water near the mangroves, brown pelican falls in line with them. She moves her long, powerful wings in rhythm with theirs, slowly flapping and then gliding. Soaring peacefully, the birds search with their keen eyes for schools of fish swimming in the clear blue water. Suddenly, one after another, the pelicans break in their flight. They have spotted a school of herring. One by one, the birds dive headfirst into the warm sea. Brown pelican is the last to go. Tipping downward, she folds her wings and aims her long bill like a spear at the water. She dive bombs down 20 feet, crash, splash, air pockets under her skin, cushion her dive. As brown pelican hits the water, her bill opens. The pouch on the bottom of her bill balloons into a big fish net. When her bill snaps shut, it traps gallons of water. Now brown pelican bobs to the surface like a cork. Gracefully, she raises her head to the water to let the water drain from her pouch. But where is the fish that she kept her eye on during her dive? Somehow, it escaped. Brown pelican wastes no time before she tries again. She faces into the wind, flaps her wings, and churns her big webbed feet against the water. Soon she is in the air and soaring above the water once more. For a long time she soars and dives and soars and dives. Sometimes she traps a few fish in her pouch, but they always manage to wriggle free before she can swallow them. Even though Brown Pelican's stomach is still empty, she's too tired to fish any longer without a rest. She follows the flock of pelicans to the mangroves, edging the coastline. She flies up onto a twisted branch of the mangroves to preen. With her bill, she cleans and straightens each feather and then rubs them with her oil from a gland near her tail. The oil makes her feathers waterproof, like a raincoat, so she will float. Brown Pelican finds a shady spot in the mangroves and falls asleep. Late in the afternoon, the sounds of flapping wings wake her. She joins a flock of pelicans flying over the sea toward a lighthouse to fish until dusk. In a small bay near the lighthouse, Brown Pelican spots a school of sardines and dives. She's in luck. Her pouch traps a fish. She bobs up, but a hungry gull immediately lands on her head. What does the gull want? Brown pelican quickly finds out. While she drains the water from her pouch, the gull grabs her sardine. <clears throat> Up into the air, brown pelican soars again. She spots more fish, and down she dives. When she bobs up with her catch, the gull lands on her head again. This time, brown pelican is ready. She quickly tosses her head back and swallows the fish before the gull can snatch it. Brown pelican fishes until the setting sun paints the sky red and orange. Her stomach is nearly full as she flies back to the mangrove island for the night. She sleeps well in her safe roost high above the sea. With each new day, brown pelican becomes better at fishing. With a bit of luck, she could be skydiving into the sea near the mangroves for another 20 or 30 years. Can't wait till you can come down to Marco and see more brown pelicans fishing in the sea here. Love you. Bye.